Hey guys, Thunderhound back again for another review floating around as per title page. We're going to be doing Decepticon Pretender Submarauder today. Now, Submarauder released in 88. He was the Decepticon Undersea Warfare. That's what he's specialist get to his tech specs and his motto is conquer the seas and the rest will fall <clears throat> as silent and, myster and mysterious as the ocean depths sly and sinister roams the sea in solitary contentment angers easily exploding into a furious frenzy Serrated claws can shred a battleship like paper. Transforms into deep sea attack submarine. Armed with proton cannon. Inside shell wields torpedo rifle and unbreakable organic steel sword that eats metal on contact. Now a little note for myself to you guys. I do have his sword. But it's in a box. And I didn't feel like digging it out. But I do have his torpedo rifle. You know, they call it a, a torpedo rifle. Nice little rifle. And his shell, his shield, shield, shell, shield, shell, seashell, his seashell, shield, looks like a seashell. Weird looking little critter. Purple. And his shell. Some kind of sea creature looking guy. I don't know what you'd call it. Like I don't even know if it, if he's supposed to actually represent any anything. So it's hard to tell what Scorponok came up with when he came up with these synthoplasmic shells in the old Marvel comics. Uh, also, guys, I want to ask. I know they weren't in the original G1 series, but after the original G1 series here in the States, the Japanese series, G1, if these guys were in the Japanese series, somebody please shoot me the link to where I can watch the shows in English. I would, I'd appreciate it because I've tried to watch them on here several times. They're all in Japanese and it it makes it kind of aggravating when you're trying to watch and you're trying to read and it, 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 it's aggravating so if anybody has got a link to where I can watch the Japanese series in English if these guys were in it please let me know because I don't know if they were or not but you can see the tail it's got a nice little, little jet pack back here webs here on his legs now, as I said on the uh, finback <coughs> finback has a his belt comes all the way around that mostly true for most of these pretenders their belts do come all the way around and it makes it you know if you clip and unclip the belt the clips will break but some odd reason they made submarauder here one you don't have to take his belt off Oh, by the way, his arms will go full 360. All you have to do is just pop him apart. Dump him out. Like a, and like the pegs. Like I said, with fin back, be very careful. I do have a couple in here that the pegs are broke. They'll get to those later. But I just like the fact that you don't have to remove his belt to put any stress on those pegs there. That's nice. Now, as far as his robot mode goes, there you have Submarauder in his robot mode. Nice little purple blue guy. Not really anything fantastic on these guys, but I do love them. I do love them. Get a little 
full 360 here. Now, the only one of these Decepticon pretenders that I don't have is Bugly. I'm looking for him. Currently, I checked eBay a couple days ago. Nothing. The only pretender I found was the Autobot Cloudburst. And I'm waiting for just the right just the right time on that. As you can see, most of his stickers are starting to peel up. Like right here on the Decepticon symbol starting to peel off of his crotch. But I don't mind that. I don't mind it at all. Now to transform him, it's real simple. There's articulation. His arm will go full 360. His head will rotate full 360. Now something, you know, we got the, we get we get our percept we get our perceptor kick. We get the perceptor kick out of all of our transformers. But this guy, bring his leg on up, kick this one off to the side. Instead of a perceptor kick, you've got the Rob full on Rob Van Dam. Bring, him, bring his arms up. In. And you bring his feet down. And his legs, you just fold over. Now, like I said, these guys ain't spectacular. They're not the most spectacular transformers out there a lot of people have a tendency to just overlook them because their robots are just so boring looking so bland I can't blame them but for me I like them get that little submarine mode in there nice little cockpit here little turbo jets back here in the back You get his torpedo launcher. You got one or two things here. You can put it here for an attack mode. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty cool. But normally when I have him out, I normally just go ahead and peg this into the back of his head. Sometimes. <clears throat> and it just fills out the gap makes things look a lot better a lot cleaner I think and you can, with his arms something else I noticed you can also bring his arms to the front like this and have two more little thrusters but I try to keep his arms back to hide that head as much as possible but there's submarauder guys there's another pretender down i got a few more to go and guys like i said if you can find these guys on ebay pick them up pick them up you know some people have already you know asked for my recommendations on these guys you know hey i feel spectacular you're asking me for a recommendation you know uh pick up skull grin pick up uh bomb burst or you know, go into the, the second series, the smaller ones. Get Bludgeon. Um, Octopunch, maybe. If you really like it, go back and get Gunrunner or uh, the other uh, vehicle pretender. The Beasts. The Beasts are highly I like. So, guys, if you can find the pretenders, you can't go wrong with them. Or at least I don't think you can. I know there's a couple of guys out there that do like them. So if you do like them and you, you are trying to complete the set, go pick them up. You won't be disappointed. So until next time, guys, I'm out of here.